And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, and we are in Lyons, France. We have Camilla Osorio from Colombia and Elisa Cornet. Bonjour, como tal vous? Now, she's a hometown woman here. Listen, guys, can you come out and show Elisa some love? She said this might be her last year. But look, this is something I've been discussing for a while. Not too many ladies on tour can sell out these arenas. Uh, but this is a match here where we have two ladies with very similar styles. Uh, it's going to be a back and forth type of match. And uh, both ladies are defensive. Both ladies are rally players. And it's going to come down to who's going to make the less mistakes, the least amount of mistakes. Uh, both ladies four double faults giving away a service game both ladies would break and break back and um look both ladies winning about 60 percent of their first serves and 30 percent of their second serves both ladies averaging about 40 percent uh wins on the return side of things and both of these ladies love to return so this is going to be a very interesting match me personally look when you have two defensive ladies you have to take the total, right? So the first set total underdog pick, that was a lock. And listen, guys, I would probably lean Camilla Osorio on the spread, if not an outright upset in this type of matchup. Even though Camilla hasn't been active, guys, she's only played literally three matches this year. But when someone talks about retiring and hanging it up, they're literally playing with one foot on the court and one foot out the door so yeah probably camilla osorio is to play but let's get right into the action guys camilla osorio misses one of the oh this is just a bad miss ladies and gentlemen camilla osorio at the net now she had four overhead volleys and she returned all of them directly to Lisa Cornet, but the last one she came up short now venus williams has said time and time again in her opinion, that's the toughest shot to make in tennis because you can't, it's it's not a routine type of shot you can practice, right? Each one comes at you differently. And uh, look, as one of the all-time greats, I have her as probably number six or seventh on my all-time great list. If she wasn't injured, she'd definitely be in the top five and she'd probably have more slams. But look, I'll take her word for it because Camilla Osorio came up short on that shot and oh, she had a wide open winner. That was brutal. But listen, guys, this match has been it's been a seesaw back and forth. And of course, look, I have the older the ooh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast. I have the over. That's right. Over games here. That was an underdog lock, and that was an easy one, very easy one. Uh, only pick for me today, guys. Only pick, only thing I'm interested in. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of upsets today. Stay tuned for that. But this is good energy, guys. A great match here. Get your popcorn. Probably one of the best matches on right now. Stay tuned.